Hi, welcome. My name is Vena Podlasinska, and today I'll show you how to export your photos from Lightroom to uh, printing files and um, to social media. The great thing about Lightroom is that you can export a bunch of photos, let's say 100 into three, four, five, I don't know, as many as you want, different types of files. And today I will show you how to set everything up, but you don't really have to, to set everything up yourself. Uh, you can either follow this video and, you know, just go to your Lightroom Classic and do it with me, or you can just watch the video and wait until the end I will, uh, and I will export the presets that I will prepare here. And then you can download the presets from the description down below. There will be a link and I will show you how to import that. So you don't really have to do all of that. So I have some photos here, uh, some winter photos. I'm just going to click a few that I want to export. And what I'm doing is holding command or control on my keyboard and just clicking the photos that I would like to export. So let's say number seven, number nine, number 14, maybe number 17, as many as you want. And I will go to file and export. I already have those presets done. So I'm just gonna show you how to, how I set everything. And again, you don't really have to set it yourself. You can just import those uh, presets. So if you want to uh, follow me, just go to the link down below, download those presets, right click on user presets and import. And then you will find the files on your disk and that should import to your user presets. There is this little arrow here. If you click on it, it's going to slide out. So the first one is print preset where I, um, first thing, export location. That's very important because you want to know where the file, those files will end up on your disk. Uh, in this case, it says choose for folder later. It means that there will be another box after this one where I will choose the location. So right now it's not chosen yet. Let's move down to file naming. And here uh, I would go to edit and I gave you file name and custom text, which is fine. But in between there are two um, little lines. And in between my, me personally, I would put my name here. And when you do it, click done here and make sure that you right, right click and update with current settings on your presets. That will add your name to that file name. And whenever someone finds those photos on their disk, they know that those photos were from you. Here we want to set it as JPEG and as RGB, uh, which is a good setting here. We don't want to resize our image so that box stays empty. Sharpen for that box stays empty as well. And the rest of the box actually, the boxes actually stay empty. We, you can do watermark if you want, but I usually don't um, provide printing files with, um, with watermarks unless a client wants my watermark on their printing uh, file. Usually they want it there for their family albums and they want the unwatermarked photos. And we will do the watermark for social media. Well, and that's all. If you just follow me and you set everything like uh, like I did, but you didn't, you did not download uh, the presets, you can do add here and then add, just name your preset, whatever you want. In this case, I would suggest maybe print preset or something like that. Uh, and I will save this preset for you. By the way, I will make another video uh, here for you on this channel, how to create your own watermark to use with Lightroom. And the other one will be for social media. So you need files to print, which are big, uh, full quality size, um, and sometimes very, very big files for exporting and then uh, for printing. And then you need another type of file, which is going to be way smaller for uh, social media. And it's very important that you communicate that to your clients saying that, hey, I prepared two types of files for you. One is from printing. Those are great files, very big files. You can just send it to your lab and, uh, and the, the printing quality will be great. But if you want to share on your social media, if you want to uh, store those on your phone, if you want to send it to your family, uh, make sure that you choose uh, the social media size files because those are um, specially prepared, prepared for that situation. And what we're going to do here 
it's, we're also going to change the, the rename the, uh, the preset. Here it says the custom text says social media, which is great. But you want to go here and edit. And again, in between the file name and custom text, you want to maybe you maybe you want to put your name. Just remember when you do that, click done and then right click on social media and update with current settings. Let's move down. You want to uh, you want a JPEG file with sRGB, which is very important right now. Uh, because if you choose any other like pro photo or RGB, which is a wider um, color space, that may not look the best on Instagram. It may look uh, faded. Uh, and we're going to click resize to fit and choose long edge to be 2048 pixels. And you want to lower the resolution to 72 maybe. Then we want to sharpen for screen here. And I will choose to add a watermark. The reason for me adding a watermark on those social media files is whenever my client wants to share their my photos on their social media, uh, I don't have to ask them, hey, can you tag me? Because that photo already has that watermark. So whatever their uh, friends or anyone sees those photos on their social media, they know that they were on a session with me. So it kind of like brings their, their friends uh, to me in the end. Whilst if you don't put a watermark, well, still it's it's fine. Uh, and it's not about like stealing anything like that. It's just about you getting that free ad advertising uh, when you whenever your client shares a photo. And then when I have everything set up, uh, I may add here. If you haven't downloaded the presets, as I told you at the beginning, and you just were just setting it your, yourself, you can just click add here, name the preset, for example, social media, and that should be saved over here. So now we are ready to export our photos and we can click both of those boxes. We can, you can click one, you can click two, we can have more if you want to. And that takes you to batch export. Here you will specify where those photos will be put on your uh, disk. And, and here I like to click this choose parent folder because then I'll, I'm going to click here. And now I need that parent folder. So wherever all the photos are will go. And then in that parent folder, I will create two subfolders, but that's, but we're not there yet. We just want to create the, the, the parent folder here. And I already have my uh, parent folder uh, chosen. So now I will click here and here. So I will click those two boxes. And what I do right now, and that's very important because I copied the, the name here and I copied this name and I copied over here. So I'll make sure that the same name repeats twice. So the subfolder for my print preset for my print uh, files is going to be named print. And the folder for my social media files is going to be named social media. So like, that makes a lot of sense. I love this method. I used to do it a different way, but now I, when I discovered that it just saves a lot of time. And then I click export and just in a few seconds, I will see those one, two, three, four photos that I chose uh, being exported as the print big files. I will have the social media size over here. So I exported four different photos into two different folders, uh, one big size, one smaller size for social media. And it just took me a few seconds. So sometimes what happens, then I will go back to Lightroom and then I spot a photo that thinking like, oh, shoot, I was supposed to uh, export this one as well. So we, what you can do right now, you can go to file and export with previews. And that's just going to quickly add uh, without you having to set everything up again. It's just going to add up to those folders. And uh, that's all. Remember to download the files from the description box and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you will find me on my social media on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and also on my website, ivanapodlasitska.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.